Hey guys, fire away. I guess uh, last week you talked about uh, guys getting a lot of rest uh, with the off week. How do you feel that uh, last week progressed in terms of getting guys back and ready, ready to go this week? Well, it was one of the things that definitely we wanted uh, guys to stay away from the rink at times and just you know work, worry about their academics and school stuff right now. And um, you know, I don't think any of our practice went over fifty minutes probably last week, so they were very uh, uh, detailed, short, sweet. You know. Get in there, put your work, in and let, let's get out of here. Kind of uh, attitude last week with them, and you know I think they they enjoyed that obviously. And uh, but at this stage of the game, we're we're not really out there conditioning and conditioning them. You know that's kind of done, and it's just the tweaking of a few things and work on some different skill sets. So I thought last week was good. You know we got uh, a short work week this week with uh, Monday, Tuesday, and then our, our Wednesday pregame skate kind of before we play on Thursday. So we got some work to do today. Uh, main focus this week will be on special teams, most of it, and uh, working on our forecheck and some uh, D zone coverage as well. Can you talk about Michigan and what you expect from them? Well, you know, this morning we've been able to watch the uh, Michigan Michigan State game from the weekend I was watching. And, you know, they're, things haven't changed with them. They're, they're a very uh, potent team. They, they're offensively. I know right now they've still got some guys that aren't scoring maybe as much as they'd like, but. It's a team you can't turn the puck over to. Their special teams are very well. Their penalty kill is uh, probably the most aggressive um, killers we'll see all, all year with them. And I think they're running about 88 or 89 percent. Uh, so we've got to be very careful out there, even when we're on the power play with them, because again, they're the team that likes to uh, pick pucks and they like to have their demon join on the on the kill. So we've got to be very careful there. And uh, likewise on their power play, they have great movement up top and, and they. Uh, you know, they work the puck around real well, and, and uh, they do a good job out front getting shots through. So we just got to do a, a really good job of clearing guys out, and, and more importantly, just let's stay out of the box. And, and let's play five-on-five five hockey with them. Let's be physical. Let's get pucks to the net, and let's crash their, their net and, and make it difficult for their D and, and their goalie. Coach, last time out against Michigan, uh, when you went up there to the Yost Ice Arena, you got two power play goals uh, in that third period. Uh, what was the difference for your team uh, coming out of that second intermission where you were down 2-1 to one, and what really allowed you to take that game, uh, take control of that game? I just think it was uh, one of those things where there was still lots of, t- of time left and you know we, we didn't panic and uh, a lot of our guys uh, are returners. Obviously the year before we had success up there as well winning so was is more of them taking you know the, the reins inside the locker room and you know, if we keep moving our feet then you know, good, good things will happen. We got a couple power play chances and uh, we had some great goals. We had a, a timely five on three goal there with about 12 seconds on the five on three and then scored right after. And, you know, Perk finished it up with a five on five goal. So I don't think it's anything more of, of what was said between the second and third, except that, you know, there's still a lot of hockey left here. You're down 2 1 and you can easily score two goals and, and win this game. And you know, went out and scored three and, and uh, took it to them. So things haven't changed much with Michigan. Since you played them the first time, how have things changed with your team since you played them the first time? Oh, we, I think when we played them early in the year, um, we, we've with a young team that we've had with ten freshmen, and you know we've continued to, to develop. We continue to get stronger. We continue to uh, um, bond together as a group tighter, and uh, it's one of those things right now that uh, you know coming off a, a weekend where we got five or six points. You know, it was quick to remind the guys that there's a lot of work to be done. You know that that series is done with and you know we've got a great opponent coming in here uh, you know this this coming Thursday and I know our guys are excited to be back home like I said again and, and Thursday night should be a, a fun night in here but if if we can just continue to build on everything that we've continued to work on throughout the uh, course of the year and, and and those are a lot of the uh, little things Dave where we just ask them you know again to really really be conscientious of picking up their men in the back check you know tying up sticks moving their feet, you know, making sure we're getting pucks out. And those are things we kind of watch as a staff to see if we're doing them uh, specifically in the game. And, again, if we do that this this week, we should be uh, uh, successful. With the games uh, Tuesday and Thursday for Bowling Green, Michigan, of course, going to uh, Wisconsin on Saturday, do you feel that that plays in the Bowling Green's favor a little bit, having not played since last weekend, whereas Michigan has just come off of a tough series with Michigan State, and then they have to go to Camp Randall and play outdoors? Well, obviously the – Speaking on the Tuesday game, I'm sure it's not easy for them to, you know, get out there and get back in, in a matter of a 48-hour span. And um, you know, the fact that we had the weekend off and they played, you know, there's pros and cons to both of them. You know, having a 10 days off without that competitive environment, we've had to do the best we can to make it competitive in here in a game like um, practices where they got to play those two games and, and uh, 
but obviously with them traveling for the Tuesday game will be uh, it's not an easy trip just having to jump in a plane head out to Wisconsin and get back for a Tuesday night game but again we've said all along it's it's something we just worry about ourselves and, and uh, you know I thought our guys have done a great job this last five days on the ice with us and you know we got three more days of, of prep here before we play a very good uh, hockey team What's the biggest difference between Tomas this year and Tomas last year? You know I think you know, it's, it's funny, you know, that you said that because it's – Tomas just – it's one of those things as a player, when, when, when things are clicking, it's you're feeling pretty good about yourself. And, and right now, offensively, he's doing a, a very good job on that. And, you know, he's got the confidence of shooting the puck. Whether or not they get blocked or not, you know, he still has that. When it comes back on a stick, he's going to shoot it. And that's the biggest thing. What happens a lot of times with a player, you know, if they're not having the offense production that they want, they're getting shots blocked. They tend to be very uh, hesitant. They don't want to shoot it anymore. Um, this year he's got that swagger about him that he wants to score goals. He's protecting the puck. He wants the puck. Um, you know, on the power play, he wants the puck on his stick. Those are all qualities that, uh, for an offensive guy, of, of what you want to have out there. And, um, you know, again, he, he's getting a lot of opportunities to play. You know, he's on the power play unit. He's playing, you know, with guys that can give him the puck and get it back. And he's had, you know, great, uh, great success so far this year on a personal note for him. What specifically do you like about what he's done this year? What I like is at times, um, you know, and I got him in line with Jordan Sands Thomas right now, both of them, is that they can control a game down low so well. Uh, his puck protection, I think, is second, and I think he goes unnoticed a lot of what he does down low in the offensive zone. And uh, he does a real good job of protecting, and you've seen it in Ohio State, you've seen him in Northern do it, where he just he can, he can rag that puck down low and wait for that opportunity to spin out. And again, he's got a knack for the net, so when he does, um, Oh, he's very successful. Now I always get on him that when he opens up his body and wants to go one on one, the D are so good nowadays with a stick on ice, stick on puck, they're just knocking that puck away. But again, if he can turn and protect the puck, protect it, and either he's going to have one or two options either they're going to pull, pull him down or they're going to go on the power play, he's going to be able to spin off and get a good shot. And uh, that's what he's been doing this year, I thought, very, um, very well. Have you decided on your goal attending for? No, no, we have. We haven't decided on goaltending our, our lines yet. Any injuries in the last week? No. No, not so far. Not that I know of. Anything else, guys? Oh, I'm good.